Jumbo, Kenya. After about three months on the road, we finally entered this beautifully diverse country. To our surprise, we were admitted without requiring a vehicle code name, proving that fortune does sometimes favor the brave or the ignorant. We camped close to our first destination and celebrated the day with our first ice-cold Tusker lagers. The Boma Simba Safari Lodge has dedicated campsites, washrooms with hot water and a neat restaurant. The lodge is located right next to the Voy Gate of Utsavu East National Park and is one of only a few camping options in the area. Some highlights included the camp's close proximity to the National Park Gate, some great birding and a waterhole right by the park fence bordering the lodge. First thing the next morning, we entered the Tsavu East National Park using one of Kenya's interesting elephant-proof electrified openings. The park combines with the Tsavu West National Park to form the largest protected reserve in the country and it is a gem for lovers of wild places. The dry and windswept landscape is vast and mostly covered with thorny shrubs while seasonal river courses and waterholes provide some respite and greener woodlands in some areas. Taking a lesser traveled trail, Baloo got into a bit of a tangle with a tree broken off at just the wrong height by Mr. Elephant. With Simone acting as executive branch manager, we were soon on our way again. We were treated to a pride of lions spaced out along a dry water course where they were setting up an ambush for their next meal. There were beautiful elephants dusted in the brown-red earth commonly found here. The Tsavo elephant population was almost wiped out in the wave of poaching during the 1980s, making the many sightings very encouraging. On the dusty plains we found the endangered French-eared oryx, a subspecies with large flappy ears. Lesser kudu browse the fringes of waterholes, smaller than their more common cousins and with almost hairless necks. We also saw the rare Somali ostrich with its blue neck and legs. And then there were the gerudus. These rare gazelles with their seemingly photoshopped long necks and unique ability to browse on their hind legs had us chuckling every time we were lucky enough to see them. The name Jerenuk literally means giraffe necked in Somali. Further north, the lushness of the perennial Galana River seemed almost out of place, lined with palm trees, filled with hippos, and banked by red-hot rocky surrounds, it is reminiscent of the Kuneni landscapes of Namibia.
Just outside the park, we stop to admire the original stone bridge constructed over the Tavu River by Colonel J. H. Patterson in 1898. Not far away, we found the old Tavu railway station in the bush among the thorny shrubs. Most folks with a keen interest in East Africa would have read The Man Eaters of Tavu, or at least seen the film based on it. This is where two male lions develop both a taste for human flesh and a few bold tactics to source it, and subsequently terrorize the labor forces building the railway to Uganda. Abandoned and derelict, the station has seen better days, but if you know the story, you will appreciate that it has also had its share of wild adventure in days gone by. Walking along the same old platform and through the dilapidated ticket office, we invariably felt a cold shiver or two pass down our spines. Perhaps not a place to visit at night, especially if you are scared of ghosts or of darkness. Savu, you will not find the tourist hordes that frequent the more famous East African parks. Instead, you will find a wilderness that is as fascinating as its history and as unique as the creatures that call it home. Here are some useful trip tips for Kenya and Savu. For more info on these tips, head to the blog link in the description below. Join us next time as we head north to Kenya's Samburu National Reserve.